This is a live stream video. Thanks for tuning in. Drawing caricatures for the terrified. We're going to get going here in a second. Just going to make sure my angles are good. And uh, we're going to have some fun tonight. Just checking my angles here. Making sure my big head is not in the way. All right. So here we go. Um, we're going to start and jump right into it. Uh, drawing caricatures can be intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. All right. This is your Bible. This is what you should get. Um, the Mad Art of Caricature by Tom Richmond should be your caricature Bible. All right. Just adjusting here to make sure my... My big head ain't in the way when I draw because it was in the way a little bit before. So we're just going to do a quick little quick little book lesson, like two minutes, three minutes, and then we're going to jump right in and draw in a few faces. This, is, this could be for the absolute beginner. Um, I learned a lot from this book. I just want to tell you to go buy it. You know, I'm not going to show you everything. I want you to go buy it and, you know, go buy Tom's book. Tom Richmond works for uh, Mad Magazine. And go to one of his lectures if, if he's still having one. All right. Um, the fir I, I just took a few um, pages of uh, what I think is uh, the most important. And then we're going to jump right into it. Um, what is a caricature? Well, there's a lot of different things. The, the most misconception that I think of it is caricature is where they pick on one thing on your face and make it bigger. <laughs> Or caricature is where they make you into a cartoon. Caricature is supposed to be funny. It's not supposed to look like you. I mean, there are so many of these we could get into, guys. But basically, what Tom Richmond loved most was this one. A caricature is a portrait with the volume turned up. I'm going to say a caricature is a cartoon portrait with the volume turned up. So that's step one. I mean, you don't even have to draw a face on Slash. You know who it is exactly. All right, let's get into the next um, page that I believe is very important, and it is uh, distortion. It's important not to distort. See, we, we want to do exaggeration, which is this, all right? This is distorted, obviously. Her eyes are not close together. Her eyes are farther apart here in you know, Tom Richmond's book here, The Mad Art of Caricature. Uh, these examples are going to be using off the laptop are from Keelan Parham's book. His book is right there. I encourage you to go get that too. And one more lesson here. Okay, don't distort. What is caricature and um, the T shape? Uh, in these faces, you're going to look for the letter T, a capital T. Forms the eyes and the nose. Forms the capital letter T. On babies or little kiddos, it's it's very different from on adults. You know, it can go anything from this to this. Hey, Sam, inspirational leaders. What's up, brother? Sam is here in a live chat. I wanted to tell you something, Sam. I was thinking of you. I just hope you're doing good. And uh, I just got a, I had a letter on my desk at work waiting for me with my name on it. I'm like, oh, no. Is this, is this a demotion or a promotion or am I getting fired? It was a uh, invitation to an employee luncheon for an employee recognition of my 20 years of service. I just hit 20 years at the day job. Go me. <laughs> so I had to respond and I said, absolutely, I'll be there to get my, my lunch and uh, my umbrella or pen or T-shirt or whatever they have. <laughs> Anyway, let's go on. We got three people here. And then this is the last... Uh, oops, sorry. This is the last part right here. Thank you, Sam. Congratulations, brother. Thank you. Guys, go subscribe to Inspirational Elitist. Um, great channel. And we miss you out here, Sam. We miss you. We miss you. But I just watch your old videos, and I'm good. <laughs> I love the Vero Beach one. Love it. All right, so, and in these, these, these head shapes, head shape is everything. And the five shapes are the head shape, the two eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And where you put these 
can be uh, changed change totally to re- make someone recognizable. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I just think it's great. So here's the head shapes that you can see out there. All right? And wide. Where's the widest part of the face? All right, let's dive in a little. Let's do some drawing, shall we? <laughs> so go get the book. All right. Here we go. Here we go with our first face. 944 subs. That's right, Sam. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I don't have the... <laughs> I don't think I got the watch time, though. But that's all right. I'm working on it. That's why I'm doing these live streams. Um, you know, because I want to add some value, too. And, and uh, I wish there was some caricature resources when I was trying to learn, you know. Um, so here we go. This face here, again, I don't claim to know it all, but uh, I give it my all. And that's all you can do. And if you want a caricature, I'll draw it and send it to you. WackyCaricatures.com. And if you want one in the live stream, contact me through that website, through the contact. Send me your photo and uh, drop me a payment on the link in the description and I'll draw you. Enough of the sales pitch. Here we go. This face here is very a very rectangle face, rectangle shaped face, but it definitely comes out more towards the bottom. Look at these jaws. Um, so we're again we're going to exaggerate these you don't really usually see hard lines uh, on women like this you just don't so this is a unique face and I like it I try to feminize it a little bit and draw it rounder right there rather than just a straight 90 degree angle so I, I do my best to, to still maintain a female uh, look about her look at this chin okay so obviously the jaws are the widest part of the face one step at a time. That's right, elitist. That's all. That's all we can do. Okay, now let's look at... She has a lot of forehead, okay, in this cartoon portrait caricature. Um, sorry, let's make it um, big. Can you see it? Yeah, I think we're good, right? All right, I'm going to uh, see her T-shape. Eyes are kind of squinty. I'm just going to draw some guidelines. And they do angle down a little bit. And then that nose is very skinny. The bridge of the nose there. And then it is kind of bulbous. Let's exaggerate that nose. But I, I want to really exaggerate, you know what, the teeth. So I, I don't want to overdo it on this nose. And then the mouth would be here. And then we're going to ink it, okay? So this is drawing caricatures tutorial, drawing caricatures for the terrified, drawing caricatures for the beginner, you know. Uh, I'm just passing along a little information that I learned along the way. Maybe it'll help you out. Okay, and the hair. Don't fuss about hair, you know. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Just, you don't have to draw every little hair. You can just draw the shape of the hair. And uh, we're not going to get too much into the bodies here. And it looks like she's probably got some kind of a coat on there. All right, let's hit it uh, with the marker. Again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the thumbs up. Click the link in the description, guys. Here we go. Let's hit, the, hit these eyes. They're kind of squinty, all right? Definitely an eyelid there. And kind of light on the eyebrow. Don't go too heavy. That's about it. Definitely some eyelashes going on here. And these little, little lines under the eye as well. And they, again, they're, they're angled in just a little bit, all right? Same thing on the other eye. Again, both eyes, always check your, your model's eyes. Sometimes they're not always alike. Sometimes they're different. And now, to get the likeness 
Also, look at the eyebrows, how much space there is between the bottom of the eyebrow and the top of the eyelid. Here it's kind of tight, so we're going to leave it uh, as such. Okay. That's all. All right. Uh, the nose uh, is very, very skinny in there, coming down. It's very round at the tip. You're not even seeing any nostrils. Okay, here we go. I love drawing noses. Can I just say that? Oh, sorry for the shadows, guys. We're going to turn on another light here in a second. If we need to, we will. Now this mouth. You can get into drawing the lip uh, with two lines, but her lip is so thin, I have a trick. Or I just use one line, but I use a thick line. I'll show you what I mean like this. Like that. I'm going to draw her teeth kind of jetting out like that. And definitely there is a lot of dark space on the sides of those teeth. <laughs> I may have given her a little too much. Oh, well. But it's caricature, right? I think we got her. I think, I think it's still good. And you can see the gum line. There we go. And don't connect your teeth lines all the way to the bottom, you know. You just want to let that brain fill in the gaps type of thing. A little highlight there. Okay, I like it. So she's got that upside down mouth is what I call it. It's turned down. And see these smile lines? Do they come from the top of the nostril uh, flare or the bottom part of the nostril flare? All these are going to help improve your likeness. So hers come from the top part. And uh, let's hit the chin. Drawing caricature. Stay tuned until the end. I forgot to tell you. I'll give you a bonus tip. All right? Stay tuned until the end. And I'll give you a bonus tip about drawing live. Or, you know, on how to how to handle it, if you're nervous about it. She's got little cheekbones here. Not, not much, but I can see them poking out a little bit. And then it's flat, and then it comes out. See? You're getting it. All right. Don't forget, stay tuned till the end. I'll give you a tip. Uh, some thoughts on drawing live uh, if you're nervous or terrified like the title says um, I'm going to help you out alright we won't get into too much of the body here but you get the idea Cool. Let's just erase a little bit of this so it cleans up the place. Now we're going to hit the hair and the eyes, the eyeballs, and the pupils and whatnot. I usually give a little collarbone right there. All right, the hair. Got the inner part of the hair. Goes like that. And then a piece long piece comes down like that see it it's actually longer than that but you know what i'm saying comes in and then out in and then out all right now draw the outer part of the hair her hair is kind of wispy here in the wind or whatever whatever it's doing and i always draw the outer line thick like uh, Keelan Parham says, it kind of brings the caricature together. Her hair is a bit wispy here. It's thin and um, looks like it moves around kind of easy. So you have to think like hair, okay? <laughs> we'll give a little uh, shadow under the chin to really push this head forward. See how that works like that? Isn't that something? Alright. 
Some of them go easier than others, guys. This one went pretty easy. So, uh... There we go. Dodgy Doodles, good evening from the UK. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you, Dodgy. Thanks for stopping in. And we'll erase our cheating pencil lines. And we'll shade it in just to give it a little depth, you know? And next we'll draw another example. So if you're scared to draw caricatures, hey, you got to start somewhere. Um, I looked at some of my old work and I'm like, oh boy, I've come so much farther, you know? So I'm really happy with my work. And uh, you'll, you'll, you'll notice it too. Uh, you got to start somewhere, you know? Okay. Let's draw the shadow and the bridge of the nose. Okay, under the nose. That's going to be a little shadow too. And those smile lines. Pardon my uh, messages here. I don't know how to turn these off. <laughs> Got the whole family texting away here. I'm in a group chat. I don't know. And with blonde hair, don't do too much shadows and shading. But definitely do some towards the neck. Because it'll make everything pop forward as well. That's the first one. This oh, I'm sorry. This this caricature <laughs> is from Tom Richmond's book. The next one I think is from Keelan Parham's book. Okay. And give it a little shadow coming around the cheeks here and the jaw. Why not? Oh boy, I don't know how to uh, turn those off. I have no idea. So there we go. Let's go with our next example. What do you guys think? We did a good job with that. Take a quick look again. I like it. I like it. And you could always do a background or whatever, you know. I don't know how to turn these things off. I just don't. Messages. Um, I couldn't tell you. Sorry for the technical difficulties here, guys. Let's go on to our next one. Don't even worry about it. Um, let me X out of this one. So I hope you guys are having a great night. I'm doing awesome. I hope you're doing awesome as well. Inspirational leaders, fire, fire emoji. Okay, this next one. Now, what are we seeing? We're seeing uh, a guy here. With, I see a rectangle face. I see small eyes. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> All right. A lot of stuff going on here. Let's just start sketching. No pressure with a pencil. Now, I want to bring it in skinny towards the temple and then come back out with the jaw. Remember, the law of constant mass applies like a water balloon. You squeeze one area, the other area is going to go like that, like Tom Richmond says, all right? I uh, keep going back to Tom Richmond, but boy, he's right. Okay. But da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. There we got here. Tiny eyes. I see real tiny eyes. We're going to really make them. I don't know, maybe that's too small. 
and they point down, okay? The eyes point down and a very large nose here. Maybe we will exaggerate the nose. This is one of those caricatures where, yes, you exaggerate the nose. Hard to see his eyebrows because of the glasses. They're like old school flight glasses or whatever he's got here. Old school, like like maybe a truck driver or something. Uh, I see a huge space in between the nose and the mouth. Very huge. So, and is uh, not much of the mouth showing. And he is smiling, even though he's got that upside down mouth. I call him an upside down smile. You know, it's just, I don't know how else to uh, say that. And then the hair. Not much hair. A little dark up here. And then it's gray over here. And uh, there's a part over here. And the ears. And a little hair sideburns coming out the ears. All right, you ready? Ready to ink it? All right, here we go. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Dodgy. Sam, Dodgy's all the way here from uh, the UK. How about that? I'm pretty sure that's where he's from. All right, eyes, simple shapes, okay? Drawing caricatures for the terrified. I just drew a triangle. It's a triangle shape for the eye. Do another one for the other eye. All right, up, down, connected. There's your eye. I'm going to put the eye in right now just because... I uh, usually do it last, but I think I got to do it here for what he's got going on. Okay. Yeah, we're exaggerating this nose. I just love drawing noses and ears. And yeah, this one's going quicker than I thought. Some teeth showing here. And the lip is small, but it protrudes out. So I'm just going to do a thing like that. It doesn't have many smile lines. Whereas older folks usually do. He's got good skin. But we'll give him a little smile just so he can see what's going on there. Now he does got this chin thing going on. I'm going to exaggerate that even a little bit more than what I penciled in. There we go. And like that. Like that. Shirt. Shirt. There we go. Shoulder. Button. Button. All right. Hair. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Visit the website. All the links are in the description. If you want a caricature, uh, I'd be happy to draw it for you and send it out to you. But we're just teaching a little bit in this video. Um, maybe you learned something. Um, go get Tom Richmond's book, The Mad Art of Caricature. That's where this is from. And Keelan Parham's book, which is right there, um, called Caricatures. All right, the hair is wavy on the top comes down then it's white here it changes to white and uh on the sideburns he's got these big ears older folks i think their ears just keep on growing you ever notice that old old guys the ears are huge on, on some old guys i think they keep growing um i think it's really funny hey i'm gonna be old someday i already am i'm 47 is that old? I don't know. <laughs> How old are you guys? You guys... <laughs> I think Sam is 42? Or 43? You're young, Sam. Jeez. And for a guy your age, you've done a lot. You've experienced a lot. And been through a lot. And I respect that. Uh, I don't want to get into the glasses here too much with the frames, but 
I think we gotta do something to define it like that. Don't go crazy, you know, just a little bit of framing. He doesn't have much wrinkles. Isn't that something? I think he does have some wrinkles on the forehead. We're just gonna give him two like that. <laughs> just because. And I think uh, there's not much more I can do with this. I think we got him. <laughs> I actually, uh, apart from the hair, yeah, interesting mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I think I should have went longer instead of wider if I had a criticism of this one. But um, overall, it, it's all right. We're going to do one more. We're going to draw a kiddo. No, no we'll, we'll draw a lady. Did I draw a lady yet? Yeah, we're going to draw a kid next. They're just a tip on uh, drawing kids. Very tricky um, if you're not used to it. I they Kids used to trip me up. They don't anymore. you got to think of them like little alien babies <laughs> with big heads and big eyes uh, and tiny little chins, and you'll get it. You're, you're there. Typically, typically, not always. There's some kids that will trip you up, boy. <laughs> and you ever try to draw a kid who can't sit still? Stay tuned till the end. I'm going to give you some a big bonus tip on how to draw live if you're, if you're into that. You may just want to do this as a hobby, which is fine as well. But I will uh, give you a tip. So stay tuned to the end. And remind me also, if you're still here, I don't want to forget to give you that bonus tip if you're interested in drawing live. All right, and some shading really um, just brings it out, you know. I think that's decent. It's got a dark collar here, and uh, let's just frame it in. Yeah, I think he. I think if this guy uh, was here, he he he'd like it. MB, that's me. Hey, what's up, guys? Nah, it's going now. <laughs> the hair's going now. <laughs> oh, dodgy. All right. Let's get into the next model. And drawing for the uh, terrified. What, can we draw a kid next? We'll save the kiddo for last because they're tricky. Let's draw this young lady. Um, definitely. What do we got going on there? Uh, I see some cheeks going on there. Uh, lower half of the face. I see where here's when somebody sits down for me, or when I look at a face, or if I'm in the grocery store. I, you know, I even I, I look at people in public and I say, if this person sat down in my chair at an event. How would I draw them? And I, I do that. So with this one, I, I ask myself a few questions. Does anything stand out immediately? Well, no, not really. Her cheeks do, and maybe her chin. Where is the widest part of the face? Looks like the cheeks. And where is most of the mass, above or below the eye line? This is all from Tom Richmond's book, The Mad Art of Caricature. Go get it. Hydration break. Cheers to you guys for watching. Let me take a drink here. Wow, that tastes good. Welcome to the Caricature live stream. Trying to build up the channel here, and I think we're doing good. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, we're just going to do a very quick pencil in. The eyes seem small and squinty, and they're angled down. Now here's the T-shape. Okay, what's your T doing? It's doing something like that. And the mouth is very straightforward, straight across. Okay, can you dig it? I don't want to go too crazy, I don't know. I'm trying to feel this out here, hang on. Trying to get the best caricature I can do. There we go. And the hair, we're going to shrink that head. 
because we went wide here and, and down here. So when you think like a water balloon, when all this is bulging out, what's going to happen up top? It's going to shrink. Like Tom Richmond says, the law of constant mass. But you don't want to distort either. So don't distort it. I'm going to come up a little bit more. There we go. And it's almost coming off to the side with that part. Hair can be tricky. But it doesn't have to be. She's got a, a wider neck. And these are from Keelan Parham's book. Okay, let's ink it. Hey, five people in here. Thanks so much, guys. All right, we're going to ink this one. If you're scared to draw caricatures, you don't have to be. You got Uncle Cartoon Mark here to help you out. Congratulations, you've landed on the channel, you found me. I'm so happy you're here. And I'm not entitled to have it, have you guys here. I am thankful you're here. All right, squinty eye number one. She's got some eyelashes there. Heavy eyebrow. We're going to stop there because the hair is going to come down. I don't want to confuse the issue. She does have some noticeable lashes on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to push this eye a little closer to where I wanted. Okay. She almost looks like a... You always look at people. I always wonder what they do for a living. You know what? She looks like a banker, like a, a financial lady, doesn't she? Like, she's a lady who's going like, to give you a loan or give you a mortgage or help you out at the bank, right? I don't know. That's what I'm seeing. I don't see, like, a health care, but I don't know. Anyway, that's just me babbling. All right, bottom of the nose comes down. Seeing a tiny bit of that nostril, and it's going out. Same thing over here. Got a little crooked on that nose. This nose, yeah, I, I messed up a little, but that's all right. We'll fit, we fixed it, see? Nothing, nothing to it. we flubbed up a little. I got a little excited. Don't worry about it. This is practice. You might, she might not even notice. Cheekbone. Jaw. Cheekbone. Jaw. Smile line. Smile line. Another line. Another dimple over there. I'm just going to draw very faint lines for the teeth. Let's hit the eyes. She's got a lot of white showing for her eyes. A lot of white of the uh, eyeball uh, pupil area, so we'll leave that showing. All right, this ain't bad. Just the nose got a little wonky, but hey, it's supposed to be like that. It's caricature, right? All right, we're just having fun here. Uh, she's got a necklace on, you can see. Uh, the hair. I love drawing swoopy hair. You guys like that? Alright. Now she's coming to, lo coming to life. You ever notice that? Like at a certain point the drawing just pops out at you? It's crazy looking, isn't it? It's like magic. Magical. All right, I think we got her as good as we can. Uh, I like it. If I wanted to critique it, I'd say I flubbed up on the nose a little bit, but shh, don't tell anybody. All right. <laughs> hey, it's just it's just a cartoon, right? That's my when if if I ever made a mistake, and I once in a while I make a little mistake, I tell the person, shh, it's only a cartoon. It's it's not the end of the world. And I don't. I do events where they're not paying for it. It's free, so it's even better. But if I do retail, like the fair, the fair is here in upstate New York right now. I usually work for them, but I'm not. They're they got plenty of help right now, and uh, I, I just uh, I'm actually busy and I'm not really able to do it anyway. I have events going on, but if you're they're paying for it, you want to give them the best drawing. Um, I always try to give the best drawing, but in a retail situation, uh, I don't know what I would do there. I'd try to fix it with my color stick and whatnot, but uh, 
I don't think it's that noticeable. I think that I said it, now you're noticing it. See, I'll fix it with some shading here. I'll darken underneath it. Yeah, that works. See? Easy peasy. And the hair. Sorry guys, I don't know how to turn those text messages off. I got the kids texting me back and forth. Um, so if there's profanity on there, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, that's that one. What do you guys think? Let me check in with you here. Bunny314, very nice. Thank you, Bunny314. Dodgy Doodles, just been watching an old video of yours when you drew this same lady. Oh, I did draw this lady. I can't remember, Dodgy. I think yeah, maybe I did draw her. I'm um, sorry for that, but hey, I actually just figured I, I liked what was going on with her face, so um, with, the, with the fullness of the cheeks, so I wanted to um, explore that a little deeper. Let's do one more, and it's going to be a kiddo. Kiddos... Let me tell you, look at his face, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. I think that's... No. A lot of people in here are related, like they brought their kids in to be photographed with Keelan, who wrote the book, and um, that's not her mom. That's not his mom. Um, boy, I got a little... Sorry, it ain't the greatest uh, resolution of a picture, but um, it's what we got. Um... So, drawing caricatures tutorial for the terrified. Caricatures easy to draw. Caricatures made easy. You know, whatever you want to call it. I, I tried to come up, come up with a snappy title to kind of just break things down easy. This kid has a weird face for a kid. I'm going to tell you right now. He's got a it what looks like a big chin. His chin is not big. Remember, he's a tiny kid. His name's Dominic. All right, I believe that's what it said. Yeah. But he looks like he, he can get into trouble, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, he looks like a little rascal from the little rascal, doesn't he? Yeah, this kid has a lot of squared off features, uh, which could really trip you up. And you could easily make him look older than he actually is. And I don't want you to do... I don't want to do that. I want to maintain that... Little kid look. Uh, he looks like he's got a huge chin, but... It's not really. Um, so, sometimes you have to do a forced exaggeration. Uh, when certain things aren't working. If you know what I mean. And usually, he's got two different size eyes. One eye's Usually in kids, the eyes are huge. Um, his are not. Um... So there's one there, and usually in kids, the eyes appear to be wider apart. I already messed up. Eyes should be way lower. Ears are always lower. Here's some tricks to, to make them look younger. We're going to bring the eyes down like that. I'm going to put the nose here. So easy, easy to draw would be this. Small nose, all right, and that smile. would be like that. I know you probably can't see with the pencil, but uh, I'm going to ink it here in 20 seconds. I'm going to bring the ears way lower than they actually are to make them look even younger. All right, don't be afraid to use your pencil. Stay tuned till the end. I'm going to give you a tip if you're scared to draw live, okay? And um, he's got a part in it. All right, I like this. I like how this is coming out. Um, eyebrow, eyebrow. And a uh, little... I want to make that not so wide there. Um, another tip is don't give these kids, this age, these lollipop necks. He does have a neck showing, but I would just go right out with the body. I'd come right in with the shirt and the collar like that. And don't even worry about the rest. Okay, here we go. Grab your marker. I like Crayola markers. Thank you, Bunny. Thank you, Dodgy. Thank you, Sam, Elitist. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, 
coming in here. I really do. All right, he's got a little eyelid there. He's got very light eyebrows. All right. And you don't want to add too many lines on kids, like, under the eye, unless it's really there. He's got some little eyelashes. Because you don't want to age them with extra lines on their face. Uh, his eyes almost fill up the whole socket. You don't see much white. At least not in this eye. In this eye, you do see some of the white. And this eye is definitely open more. This one's more squinted. Alright, cool. I don't know, my... I flubbed up a little there. Don't worry about it. Uh, nose, keep the noses small. But his nose is flared out, so it's tough to to do that. There we go. It's got that line there. And uh, we're going to go boom. And he's got that smirk. I think we got him. What do you guys think? Now we got him. The kids are very tricky. And especially if you're at a party doing this. <laughs> With all the distractions, like you're not in a quiet studio like this. And you're out in the public or at an event, a wedding, a barbecue, a birthday party, whatever. You know, it can really uh, be anxiety uh, forming. Um, it, it, it really can be. So I want to give you a tip here in a few minutes. Uh, how to get over doing doing those live events all right his hair is a little messed up from playing outside and here's a part in the hair over here and what do you guys think i think he's all right it's acceptable i think we did a good job i'm gonna give you two tips Stay tuned for the two tips. All right. Let's erase our pencil lines and shade them in, and then I'll give you some tips, some closing thoughts. I really like this drawing. He, I drew this kid a couple times, and uh, it really made him look older than he was because I gave him more of a chin I'm like oh look at this huge chin on this kid but it's really not it just appears that way so sometimes you have to do forced exaggeration like I forced the head a little bit bigger and the, the ears a little bit lower uh, etc so etc etc all right blonde hair don't give too much uh, highlight just a little bit here and there I got a big uh, camp boys camp event coming up in September um, it's going to be crazy it always is but I'm looking forward to it lips ears under the chin definitely uh, you know not much to do here with this one you could draw a little shadows under the hairs like that and I would uh, frame them in like that with uh, the date. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, I had a little trip up there. Love it. Thank you, Dodgy. Thank you. I had a low battery warning. So we're going to give you the two tips real quick here. And we're going to review which one is your favorite. Number one. Number two. Number three. Or number four. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. Which one's your favorite? Four. Three. Two. I like two. Or one. I like, I like them all. I like them all. I can't pick. I can't pick. All right, here's a tip for you if you are um, 
struggling to uh, if you're struggling to draw live uh, number one get the book <laughs> that's number one that's your that's your homework go, go get your Tom Richmond book all right and if you're struggling to draw live at an event here here's a tip for you uh, if you're doing it for money, that puts a lot of pressure on you. Well, I don't want you to have that pressure. And I'm not t- telling you to go draw for money. Here's my tip for that. Draw for free. Draw for tips. Write a big sign saying tips only. Speaking of tips. Bam! Print out your, print out your stuff. Here's a, a, a big bonus tip. Print out your Venmo and your Cash App code. Tape it to your easel, okay, like that, and then people can come by and tip you on the phone. Um, that way there, there's no pressure. You're not charging people, and you're not charging an event planner, and she's not worrying how good you are or how fast you are, because that's what they want to know, how fast you are. That's all they want to know. And uh, I can get into events at a later date, but my tip to you is... Uh, and the only reason I know this tip is because I had a friend uh, ask me to draw for her for a, a couple free events and work for tips. And she was a face painter. And uh, she's a face painting company. And she took me on as an addition to face painting. So I got really lucky there. Thank you, Deb. Um, Primo Designs, uh, 518, uh, 518 Face Paint, I believe her name is, on uh, online. So that's the tips. Um uh, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Who is that, Denise in there? They're all great, but I like two because of the intensity of the line weight. Thank you, Denise. Dodgy likes number one. Yeah. Um, they're all, yeah, they're all, they're something. <laughs> I, I like them all, yeah. So thank you so much, guys. I uh, I really appreciate it. Let me just check my email, make sure nobody emailed me while I'm in here. Um, who wants a, a, a live caricature? No, we're good, we're good. No takers yet. I do have a special when I'm live. If you email me your uh, photo, I'll draw you live. All right, guys. That's it for the uh, caricature live stream. Like, subscribe, share the video, and remember... In cartooning, anything is possible. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you, Denise.